woman God knows that, look, look, woman, you're not perfect. You know, you, oh, look, everybody is falling short of the glory. Everybody said they're falling short of the glory. So nobody's perfect, so stop looking for perfection. The only perfection is in Christ, and you seek that. But in a man or help me, you look for somebody to compliment you, somebody that's complimenting you, somebody that's going towards Christ, someone that, you know, that you can get along with, someone that, you know, you, you have things in ca compatible with, but someone first that is God-fearing and someone that's moving towards Christ. That's what you look for. So women, let's be honest. And men, let's be honest with our women. Stop downgrading our women. Stop making our women dress up like hogs and putting themselves out like prostitutes. Stop uh, patronizing these uh, Beyonce's and Alicia Keys and these women that dress like hoes. I said hoes, harlot. Stop patronizing these women that get up and shake their backside in front of TV. Those women uh, with all the makeup and the hair and all. Stop it. That's not the beauty. A woman, women, you're beautiful without all that junk. You don't need that junk. It's society that tells you need that junk. The society say, I can't be I can't be seen without my makeup. Makeup is to try to change what God made. God made you. And God made women beautiful. And I argue anybody down with that. So, men and women, we need to be honest with ourselves. And last of all, we need to be honest with ourselves. So you, you gotta be honest with you. You gotta be honest and say, you know, I don't know everything. Some of the things that I might have invested a lot of time in might be wrong. Some of the lies and traditions I got into might be wrong. And I need to change those things. Some of the things that I do now aren't in the Bible, and I need to stop doing it. I need to stop following a man that's called Reverend because only God is Reverend. I need to stop going to this church because my, my church name isn't in the Bible. And names are important. Names are more important or more precious than gold and silver. That's in the Word of God. So a name does mean something. I gotta be baptized for the remission of sins. I wasn't baptized at all. I was so-called baptized in the wrong church and the wrong man. So I wasn't baptized at all. So you have to be baptized for the remission of sins. You have to be baptized according to the scripture. There's no other baptized. You can't sprinkle. You can't baptize. And look, but just by saying the word abracadabra like the false. Apostolic faith say, oh, you got to say you Jesus Christ. It's not the word that do it. It's the power and authority. And Jesus gives you an authority. You summon or are commissioned by that authority to baptize. And it's only saints that can baptize you. Baptize for the remission of sin. Jesus doesn't work. It's not a work of man. So who do we have to be? We have to be honest with each other. And admit that we're in things that are. I'm going to close out with one more scripture in John, and this is the reason why so many are still going to do what they do, are still going to be in their false church, are still going to worship your pagan house. I know this. You you on the Broadway, and, and, and Broad is the way that leads to destruction. So you out there celebrating. The holiday, but you got join billions of others that are doing the same thing, and the billions of others you will see a lake of fire with you. Straight is the way. Now is the gate that leads you. Holy. John 8 and 44. Jesus talking to the Pharisees. The Pharisees, look, were so called religious people. They were so called the religious in the Jews' religion. They were of Israel, and they were Israel according to the flesh. So just because somebody religious like you are, doesn't mean they're saved. And even some of them were sincere. But they were sincerely wrong. So, so God doesn't like why? The devil. See, what's so hard about people? The hard for you people to understand that God hates a lie. No. Let me get the scripture. Let's go back a few chapters. Because the love that's in The devil was a murderer from the beginning. And the bold not in the truth. The truth is Jesus Christ and word. Because there's no truth in it. Hope you got something out of this message. You come out of that false before it's ever going to happen too late. If you want to be saved, you got to hear the word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Once you hear the word, you got to believe in the gospel. The gospel is God's plan of salvation. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You believe in that gospel, you repent of your sins. Make it up in your mind that you're going to do right. You're going to move toward the right way and move away from the wrong way. You confess that Jesus Christ is the Moshiach. 
He is the Son of God. You confess that He is the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Christos, and be baptized for the remission of your sins, and you are promised the gift of the Holy Ghost to be saved. 